So now in this video, we'll talk about join and alive method. To understand that, what we'll do here is, uh, let's say after printing this thing, after printing everything, I want to print by. So we'll say system.out.println, and here I want to print by. So I'm expecting that this by will be printed after high and I mean after printing all this stuff at the end we want it by. So if I run this code now, something weird happened, right? We got by here itself. Now why we got by there? It's because when you say t1.start and t2.start, so we got two new threads, right? So t1 is one thread which is executing this high. t2 is another thread which is executing this part. What about the main thread? By default, we do have a main thread, right? So main thread is doing nothing because these two things, which is high and hello, is printed by t1 and t2. So main thread says, okay, I don't have any job, so I will do, I will print the remaining thing, which is by. So my job is to print by there. Right, and that's why when you say t1.start, it will print high, it is going for a pause, right? By the time t2 starts, but before even t2 goes here and executes, your main is printing this. What we need to do is we need to ask main, main thread just wait, wait for these two threads to complete their task. Once t1 and t2 are done with their job, then only you go for your execution. How can we do that? So we have to say t1.join. So join is a method which join will make your main thread to wait for t1 and t2 to join again. So as you can see in this image, we have initially only one thread which is main thread and from main thread we got two new threads. We got t1 and t2, right? So t1 and t2 are executing their job and main thread is continuing there, right? So as soon as t1 and t2 are done with their job, they will combine with the main thread and then main thread will execute by. So that join will wait for that particular point, which is there. You can see in the circle there. So that it will wait for that particular point. But the thing is, it may throw an exception. So we'll handle. We'll use throws exception here. So we'll use. We are using throws exception. And now, if you run this code, you can see by. You'll be getting by at the end. You can see we got at the end. So that, that's a that's the use of join. So what join will do is join will wait for t1 to join and t2 for join here. Now what we'll do is, there's one more method which we can use is something else alive. So let's say before join, if I'm saying, uh, if I want to check if t1 is alive, so we can check if t1 dot alive or is alive. And if I run this code, you can see somewhere it will be getting true because t1 is alive there. But if you write the same stuff, if you check the same stuff after join, because once your t1 joined with the main method, and if I run this code now, waiting for that time, and you can see we got false. So is alive is a method using which you can actually detect if your thread is in a running state or not. Okay, so once your thread job is done, it will be dead. So we can check that with the help of is alive method. And so yeah, that's about join and that's about uh, is alive. So that's about this video. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, some new concepts in thread.